hi guys welcome back welcome back again on my channel if this is your first time seeing my face hi my name is bukola and you're welcome on my channel so you guys in today's video today's video is going to be a continuation of the last video that i posted where i talk about the fish oil i think the feedback from that video is so mind-blowing and i appreciate you guys thank you guys so much for engaging with me in that video and let me tell you just in case you don't know one of my favorite videos to make on this channel is having to answer you people's question because um that will make me um give me an opportunity to touch on several areas and yeah that's just what it is and i've been getting a lot of reviews a lot of you are even coming back to drop reviews on that video of a product that i've reviewed before which is so mind-blowing so i appreciate you guys so much i have so many questions here but before i go into this question as well just like the last one i want to say um the fish oil i'm using i use just one capsule a day which i'm still going to increase because as you guys know i've been complaining on this channel that i'm not feeling fine since March, and i'm still on some drugs as well so that's the reason why i'm taking just one but i'm going to switch to taking two a day you can even go as much as taking three in a day but i'm going to just say see a pharmacist or a chemist just to give you it on because i'm not a pharmacist and i don't want to just come here and just stand on what i'm saying that you have to take three not only maybe you have an underlying health issues and stuff so just see uh maybe the pharmacist you're getting it from i take one but i want you to know that even if i'm taking two nothing is going to be wrong with me so you can it's between one to three caps to a day so for people who are asking but that should not stop you from asking a pharmacist or a chemist as we said it in that video too that it's not going to make you fat i still get some question on that again it's not going to make you fat unless you're taking your multivitamin you actually eat more so that's basically what i'm going to say on that fish oil and i think that will be the end of fish oil talk um capsule and all of that so very first question that i have here is what does the ordinary glycolic acid toner does to the underarm what i use for my underarm i don't use a roller no i don't know any other things that people use on their underarm i use glycolic acid toner and i've been using it for over two years now one is that i noticed it reduced the sweat in that area it reduced it does not make you smell nasty in that area and again the agapata pata of it all it helps with dark underarm so let's say i think majority of things people actually do is shave their underarm or use a shaving cream i use a shaving cream sometimes and as well wax sometimes so all of those stress and those pull and those things can actually cause you to have dark underarm hyperpigmentation in your underarm and yeah so that's basically what it does it just helps you it's just because of the smell that i love it the most and again it doesn't give me dark underarm so you can just get that if you have all of those things one question that i have here is i have been battling with sunburn for a very long time will the fish capsule work on my sunburn fish capsule alone is not going i'm sorry i thought i saw someone's shadow fish capsule alone is not going to help you get rid of your sunburn you have to use active products and as well get a sunscreen if you're trying to get rid of sunburn and you're not using a sunscreen you're wasting your product let's be honest and let me tell you if you have some um, obvious hyperpigmentation sunburn and stuff you can try the technique of you reapplying your sunscreen after two hours in a day just to see a faster result if you can do that for straight three months you are going to see a drastic change on your hyperpigmentation and as well your sunburn i don't reapply sunscreen unless i've had my bath in the morning and then i have to go out around uh maybe 12 1 2 3 4 i will not reapply if i'm going out but if i'm in the house once i do my morning routine and i use my sunscreen i'm sorry I don't get to reapply it. I think told to do is to always reapply, especially when you expose yourself to so much odd sun. I have been battling with dark spots all over my body. Please recommend a cream for me. I talked about it in my last video, the power of retinoid and hydroquinone, especially all those black spots. Please, if you are the one who asked this question, you can as well go and check that video. But retinoid and as well hydroquinone is going to do a very clear difference. It's going to give you a clear difference on your dark spot. And one thing I want to add to it, and the reason why I added this question into my notes is because if you're using retinoid and hydroquinone, even if it has to do with your body and you have the money, sis, get a sunscreen. Let me tell you. There are people who use sunscreen in between their lamps. You know that dark inner tie. There are people who apply sunscreen there and it helps a lot. So if you know you're getting retinoid and hydroquinone and you know you have those box, in fact, try get sunscreen. You can apply sunscreen on your body as well. This is going to just speed up 
um a very good effect of the product you're using and you're going to see a clear difference as well that are so big on dark spots and they helps and they give a very clear result as well i have here is a rich base cream can i use for a caramel skin for two hours can go there's another one that can go as well um <coughs> i'm sorry dr james as well can go for caramel skin just that you have to be very careful if you're mixing dr james because it's losing up very fast you might want to add other things to thicken it up but i think 42 hours is very very good base for you to use if you know you want to make a caramel um lotion and i think bronze stone even though some people are telling me bronze stone is not good on their skin there are still some people telling me it's good on their skin it's just like review on stay young some people complaining that it's not good on their skin and some people giving me a very good result even without mixing it with what i told them to mix it with so we are all on a journey of finding a product that is going to work for our skin this question that i have here is is there a supplement for pimples and dark spots zinc has done a lot and you can get it as well zinc is so good it's a very good supplement for um pimples even if you go see a dermatologist there's a probability of them giving you zinc um supplement for your pimples and for your dark spots you might want to take other supplements or they should just give you a product that you're going to use on it there's a certain supplement as well that helps with dark spots and there are other supplements that i think is going to help you as well but mainly you can even focus on using more physical product that you apply on your skin and use a sunscreen with your zinc is going to really really do a very good thing and i think the polar's choice bha is so good when it comes to pimples it's just that it might be on the expensive side and you might not want to get it but if you can lay your hands on the polar's choice trust me you're not going to regret ever buying that product question that i have here and it's so interesting because i don't think i've ever talked about this before is what is your take on medis 5.5 vitamin c lotion and koji sand soap these two products is so good medis 5.5 as well contains turmeric if i'm being honest with you guys some of you told me medis 5.5 got you darker which is quite reasonable because i know sometimes our weather does not even allow this product to give us the results that, that they are supposed to give us sometimes there are people on big uh, chemical products that they're using before and they decide to switch to the one that has a lesser um, effect that is going to cause your skin to go darker or even drop because you're not balancing it with what you're using before if you have medis 5.5 there are safe serums that are, like i always talk about starkler is a good option for you to add to your medics 5.5 moroccan argan oil is very very good um the koji san um serum is very very good the glutathione serum all those small ones they are small but effective and they will not cause you to have dark knuckles so instead of you having to add a lot of whitening serums to eat you might want to scratch that and just get all of this safe serum to be added to your medis 5.5 if not if it is working amazingly on your skin you do not need to add anything to it i have someone currently using medis 5.5 that they mix it with starkler oil as well and it's amazing it, see the glow is unmatched because it has turmeric it has vitamin c and you are using starkler that glows the skin and as well help you treat your skin so you can see what that combination is going to do alongside using good soap like koji sand or maybe bavaria or maybe using even dudu also you can do the job even if you have your black soap at home that has turmeric in it it's going to do the job for you medis 5.5 is a very good lotion to me it's very very good even advanced clinical vitamin c is good i get that sometimes our, our weather can be the problem but if you can lay your hands on them and they are working for you then you don't need to change them because they have all of the goodies that you need in a cream if you're using any of this lotion please let me know in the, in the comment section how it works for you or if you're planning to buy it and if you're if you have started using your fish oil as well please tell me in the comment section if i did not answer your question in this video i have replied to you because it took me about an hour and i was just replying all the things that i could reply and jot down the things that i'm sitting down right here and filming please before you go please do me a favor please permit me to tell you to smash the subscribe button and turn your bell notification on as well for more uploads from me and i will definitely talk to you guys in my next video